It might look like a game you'd find in an arcade, but actually this giant claw, part of the South East London combined heat and power facility, is helping turn rubbish into energy. So this is the bunker where we store the fuel, and the fuel is all the rubbish from London that we can't recycle. So instead of putting it in a landfill, we're putting it in this bunker, and then these large cranes are lifting it into a furnace where we're generating steam, and then from that steam we're generating electricity. But it isn't just electricity the plant provides, it's also heat. Historically in the UK and in London, we took all the waste out of London and put it in big holes in the ground in landfills. Um, more recently that's become unacceptable and also it's a waste of that valuable resource. So we've built a facility just down the road which takes all the recyclable material, all the paper, the newspapers, the cans and the glass and we recycle them back into things. And then here we take all the waste you can't recycle and we turn that into heat and electricity. So the electricity goes to the national grid and the heat goes to local housing. Already the plant provides heat for 2,500 homes in the area, with plans to reach four or five times that amount in the near future. So this power plant was built in order to lessen the impact of rubbish going into landfill. But the question still arises, are the toxins and other emissions let off by the rubbish and all the plastics just as bad for the environment? The CO2 emissions are lower than you would get from fossil fuels because it's largely organic and bio-waste that's coming in here. Obviously, you can have wind turbines, which can provide some electricity as well, and there's no emissions from wind turbines, but you can't really have them in the centre of London. So in terms of having decentralised energy in the centre of London, producing electricity and heat, this is a really good way to do it. The power plant provides enough hot water each year to make 9 million baths, more than one for every person in London. Let's just hope the bath water smells better than the bunker.